Hello, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's fantastic. We're just gonna jump right into this today. I'm so curious about this board. Look at this. Dude. And this board is interesting. Is this a Gundam piece? What the? I actually have not opened this yet, by the way, guys. I think I showed you briefly. I don't know if I'm a Gundam guy, but like I've always liked them. I used to, I used to kind of have a little collection of them, like a handful, like a few. What the hell is all these? Guys, there's so many pieces in here. Holy, there's like a baggie for one piece. What the This might as well be a Gunpla. There's like a little bee. This reminds me of Marcia for some reason. Cause a little bee, you know? All right, we got some simple instructions. Love that. Okay, meaning of fa qua is the Cantonese pronunciation of, okay, which means exaggerate it in English. This board belongs to Mr. Hat series, but has nothing, but has nothing related to the Xmas theme. I don't quite understand that. Plate will offer both flex cut plate and non flex cut plate this time. Oh, that's pretty good for everyone who's worried about that. The fixing holes of the plate is a bit too small, so it takes some patience to install the board. We have made adjustments. We will only offer hot swap PCB during the group buy. What you received is a beta version. Therefore, the materials and surf surface treatments. Oh yeah, I did say beta on the box. I'm kind of nervous to build this now, man. Bro, this literally feels like a gunpla because I know I have to take this all apart. Oh boy, my favorite ribbon cables. This is gonna look so neat. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have fun with this one here today. Damn, this board's really cool. I know this is a really impromptu stream, but I've been itching to build this since I got it. They did send me one to take a look at pretty early. Uh, Albert, the guy who sent it to me was like very kind. He's like, do you want to take a look at this? I was like, yeah. So does this just sit like this? Obviously I have to screw that in, but that's kind of sick, dude. Dude. All right, here's our PCB. Pretty standard looking, nothing too crazy other than I have to disassemble it myself. So we need one, two, three, four, five. So no option for split backspace on this guy. Also, a little thing about this board too, because I did a little bit of research on this. I don't really have too much information on all of the stuff for this board, but see these guys right over here. Can you see these? One, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, and four. These are LEDs and they have diffusers on the plate. So you know those empty gaps you normally get with uh, with Alice keyboards or Alice style keyboards? Those will have some RGB popping through. Um, so it actually has some pretty cool like design going on here. Okay, I, I love the matrix finishers by the way. Big, big, big fan. This is the all black one. <sighs> There's a lot going on here. Side profiles looking pretty spectacular. The bottom's looking pretty spectacular. The back is looking pretty cool. There is something special about this, guys. I like the finish on that badge, too. That is neat. We're using these. I lubed up these bad boys. So we need what? One, two, three, four, five. All right, I have a two U wire to set to the side. I'm actually low key surprised. There isn't many Gundam like themed keycap sets in this hobby. Uh, and maybe there is, and I'm just like going crazy, but I don't remember that many. Actually, let's screw this in first. I always wanted to buy more matrix keyboards at the beginning of the hobby, but everything seems so unattainable that I never purchased anything. So I actually, the only matrix board that I typed on at one point was the Noah, which I think is one of Matrix's weakest keyboards. Now I've got to type on everything since, but that was my first introduction to Matrix keyboards was the Noah, which I still think is their weakest keyboard. Alrighty, well. Here we go, wait, this doesn't go this way. This goes this way. So you guys can see too, here's all the diffusers for the LEDs in the bottom of the plate. That's a super cool idea and a great way to fill the voids here, by the way. All 
All right, let's let's open this thing up. What the hell? This is so cool. Is it wrong that I'm really excited for this? Honestly, the bee's really cute. Guys, I I just want you to take in how many pieces are on this keyboard. Look at all these screws. We got a badge over here. There's this badge. There is these things, all, all these guys. There's this, there's this. There's another badge over here. Holy smokes. Uh, unlock the screw on the Joker face back, then it can be held by magnets. That screw maybe. I don't think that screw is supposed to go there. Let me see. I'm kind of uh, hoping this is the right thing to take out. And now is this just magnetic? I think this might be magnetic now. Okay, so yeah, now it's gonna be held in with magnets. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool, dude. And there's a red, a red one to go over here. Dude, both of these look good. We can we can uh, swap these out as we go too. I think I leave it all black, right? I mean, we can just open it up. It's only four screw, screws to get in here. I'm not like too pressed about it. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So there is actually there is case film already in here. I didn't even see that. So these come out and then what's underneath this? Don't really need to get in there, but that's just all the stuff for the back. This is uh, mounted on these little FR4 pieces over here. I feel like there's been a few boards that have kind of done this where they put little FR4 pieces on the bottom and it's floating on top of this. So all the pressure will kind of be wobbling on top of this guy over here. But we gotta take these guys out. So we do have to put these guys all on the other plate. This one goes on this side. Right, I hope I put this in right. Let's see. Let's test it out right now. Whoa, that is so cool. This is such a smart idea to fill in those little gaps with LEDs. So yeah, these little gaskets over here, you guys can kind of see I'm pushing them in now. We've done a few other boards with this kind of idea of pushing in these little like nubs or whatever you want to call them, these little nipples into like an FR4. The few boards that have done it have actually felt pretty good doing it. All right, I left the bottom foam on just so everyone's aware. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. This is gonna be from Matrix. I think Swag Keys will be the, the vendor you have to go to. The price point is insane. It's about 700 bucks. It makes sense though. It's not just like $700 for the sake of being 700 bucks. There's a lot of interesting things about this board. First of all, the amount of pieces that they had to do for this is crazy. Uh, it does have a nice Matrix finish on it. Um, the mounting system, while it isn't truly unique, you don't see it that often. So I'll give it bonus points for that too. Everything seems like it was really well designed. So I, I am like here for the amount of stuff that's on this board. I like the face plates being interchangeable. That's cool. Assuming that they have a whole bunch of those, which they should. Yeah, yeah, the number of QC, like the number of pieces increases QC. Not only that, it also increases the amount of CNC time and then finishes per piece as well. So there's a lot of like things to consider when you have something like that. Oh, I am not used to two keys over here with the blocker. That's interesting choice. Dude, I've never really seen an Alice keyboard with a blocker over there. Or not a blocker, but like exploded off to the side. Interesting. It's like a little exploded control and windows key that goes over here. Matrix has the aesthetic game on lock. I mean, dude, they do have a few boards, which I really appreciate the sound profile of. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the Corsa wasn't bad. I didn't mind the Corsa one bit. The Corsa was probably one of their strongest keyboards in recent history, I'd say. That is so dope, dude. Let's plug it in. 
I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm kind of into the RGB on this. This is kind of cool. I really like what they did with the empty spaces. Room lights off here. Let me show you guys with the room lights off. Let's do typing test now. Okay, so just to explain what's going on here, bottom foam, so we have the case foam in this. Aluminum plate, not the skeleton plate, we have the full plate. No like uh, PCB foam on this guy at all. And then we're using Gidron Milky Yellow Pros. Milky Yellow is pretty reliable with this. I didn't wanna go with long poles because I had a weird feeling long poles might have not been the best choice for this keyboard. The alphas are fantastic. Spacebars is a little thin. However, let's see if we can change that up just ever so slightly. Maybe we do need the long poles for the spacebar to kind of give it a little bit of an extra oomph. We can change that right now. Because this is hot swap. And that's the nice thing about going hot swap. It's done, we did it. Oh yeah, okay. This still has the gator on milky yellow on this particular one, so maybe I'll swap out. I didn't use the skeleton plate, I used the full plate for this. This is the skeleton plate here. This has actually been quite a divisive thing I've noticed in the keyboard hobby. Some people are very, very against these plates. I get why. I think paired with a 1.2 mil PCB, they're not like the best things in the world, but they did give me both options today and they said in the, in the Notion doc as well as on the piece of paper that there's gonna be both options. Guys, I really like this. <laughs> I really like this board. This is so much fun. Here, we'll swap plates. It looks pretty cool with that too. That looks really cool with that. I feel like I need to turn off the RGB for that though. So this will be on Swag Keys from November 3rd to 5th and it costs 699 US dollars before shipping. And that's also for anyone else outside of US. It's also before any sort of import taxes and stuff like that. It, again, I think personally, the price point, it, it kinda low key makes sense because of how many little parts there are in this thing. Like guys, I, I need to stress how many parts are on this, but I also wanna stress it's $700. So that's a pretty tough pill to swallow. Uh, but the price, I, I wouldn't say this is unjustified. It does sound really good. It's super comfortable to type on too. Like I will admit it, it is. There's, you can kind of see there's a little bit of movement happening when you press really hard, but it's just soft to type on. Like it's not, it doesn't feel stiff at all. There's definitely some absorption happening there with the vibrations. Super unique design, really like it. Expensive. This is a really cool style, like styling piece as well. I know I showed this off earlier, but see this Matrix Labs logo on the bottom? It's kind of, has this really cool finish to it that depending on how you look at it, Totally shifts in color too. Really, really interesting looking keyboard, man. Great finish on this thing too. Holy smokes, this is a good finish. Wow. Actually, I think these pieces are supposed to have that little, maybe this is kind of like the knobby where these pieces are supposed to be a little bit tarnished kind of looking, you know, like worn. Side profile's pretty dope on this too. A lot of interesting things going on, man. I think the price is just, personally, I think the price is justified. I don't think this is gonna be like an everyday keyboard for, you know, the average person. This is gonna be something, if you really felt, fall in love with this right now, then I've seen a few of the other like really crazy matrix keyboards. And I think this one here is my favorite out of all of them. I'm really into this. I don't think this is a board for everyone though, to be honest with you. I think this is a board that you really have to fall in love with this board, man. Actually, that little textured finish is on the front over here too. Here, let me show you guys. It does the same thing, depending on how you look at it. So it looks like it's textured. I think the only odd choice, which I don't think is like too crazy, 
is still this exploded left section over here for the control and the super key or the windows key. I don't get it, but interesting. Maybe it's supposed to be more symmetrical with this side with the arrows being exploded out, but interesting. Even, I know the price is a little high, but like I saw, even myself as someone who's into keyboards like a lot, like I, I will pay a little bit of a premium if it comes to like a really unique board. I'd pay the premium for this. For sure. It's not like, I wouldn't say this is my favorite sounding board in the world. It sounds good, but it's definitely a cool like little collector's item. And I think I'd, I'd want it in my collection. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your nights. Uh, see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Peace out, everybody. Love you.